Hello everyone, another Nero here again. I want everybody to be blessed. Right, the other week I became a blood donor for the first time. Um, you know, thought we're doing something absolutely brilliant, saving people's lives. You know, they need more blood donors to give blood to save people's lives and stuff like that. But I had a bad experience. It was the very first time, obviously, that I gave blood. And about five hours after, you know, I felt not too bad, but slightly weak. About five hours after, I had a bath. I thought I was all going to faint. I had to lay on my bed for about 20 minutes. You know, all I could get my breath and I felt terrible. Obviously I shouldn't have had a bath that night, but obviously I just felt as though I needed one. Um, the next day, my left arm was hurting. Although near and around my heart area as well. This went on for days and days and it was hurting even more and more as each day progressed and it was about five days after when the pain was that bad that I couldn't sleep. Um, and I put all around my heart area, um, all down my arm, I didn't have any pain around my neck. And I thought, you know, I'm not giving blood ever again. So obviously, I found the um, blood donor people up. And I told them, you know, I've got a lot of pain down my left arm. You know, I haven't, I never banged my arm or anything like that. The doctor, I spoke to a doctor there. And she said, it's got nothing to do that I had blood took out of me. Um, she asked me a few questions and then she says that I urgently need to see a doctor. So obviously I went to see my GP and did a few exercises with my arms and that. And it was really hurting my left arm. The doctor didn't really know what it was. Um, but even he says it's nothing to do that I've given blood. To be quite honest, I think they will say that because obviously they want people to give blood all the time and it might have just been a one-off with me and they probably might not want anybody, you know, to go around telling people, oh yeah, it's because I gave blood, that's why all my arm were hurting, you know, to put people off. I don't know, but um, they thought it was an infection at first, well the doctor did, and or something to do with my joints. All my muscle were all my muscles were extremely tender. Um, all my fingers were hurting as well. All down the body. I was thinking, you know, the matter. I don't know what they did, but um, he he said, you know, I'll have to have a blood test. So I had a blood test at hospital. The results went back and. My blood is high. Um, my sugar levels in my blood are very high. Um, glucose level. And I, I could have got diabetes. Um, I've got to go next week to have a fasting glucose test which means that I can't eat anything eight hours prior to whatever I'm going to have to have done with this test thing. Um, so just pray right now. See, God is a God of miracles. That is just a word that I really hope and pray that I'm not going to be a diabetic. I'm, I'm cutting down now on um, fizzy drinks. 
and fast food even. Um, and it's a lot of junk food. And, yeah, you know, I haven't been getting a lot of exercise as well lately. So obviously, that doesn't help. Um, but, it's really been, I've really been thinking about this to be honest. And, I just hope and pray right now, in Jesus mighty name. That Lord God, you've got great plans ahead for my life. And I pray right now, in Jesus' mighty name, that my blood and everything will be alright next week. I come against this diabetes or whatever. I mean, obviously the doctor hasn't said that I have got diabetes, but said that I have to have this test and to identify pre-diabetes and diabetes um, so I just pray right now in Jesus name that God will heal me I mean I've prayed to myself I'm not just doing this just for showmanship I am really praying right now I want you people to pray as well with me that I will not be a diabetic that I will be healthy perhaps it's happened for a reason because obviously if I'd have left it um, much longer, maybe a year or so, I don't know. It could have been a lot worse, obviously. When something bad happens, something good always happens after. Do you get what I'm saying? About a year ago, can you remember when I said, and I forgot to say amen, now, let me just continue praying. Lord God, I pray right now that you will heal me shift away any sort of dodgy thoughts or ailments any future ailments or anything like that with this sickness called diabetes I come against it in Jesus mighty name by the power by the Holy Spirit by the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse me right now to heal me right from my head down to my feet in Jesus name I want people Amen I want people to say Amen as well because all things are possible through Christ Jesus I can feel the Holy Spirit right now and God is working through that prayer that I have just said and anybody else that is feeling ill or feeling a bit down at the moment this is a blessed channel. I pray right now that God will touch you and he will heal you 100% if you are feeling a bit rough. Because God is a God that heals through Christ Jesus only. Not through anything else. Not through Muhammad. Not through Buddha. Not through anything else. There's only one God. There's not God and Allah. It, they're different. Allah has got a prophet called Muhammad. God has got a son called Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit is there as well. Totally different. Um, yeah, like I was going to say a bit ago, nearly a year ago, remember when I had an accident with my car? Um, I prayed to God that everything would be alright that it, because I was really worried that my insurance would go sky high now I prayed to God what has happened is that the driver of that other vehicle that I went into never got his, ins, his insurance company never got back in touch with my insurance company Right. It's still an ongoing thing, but this is nearly a year. Obviously, he shouldn't have been driving the vehicle or something. Something dodgy has happened. Or maybe that God heard my prayer and he had the end of the situation. Because I don't think I would have been able to afford, you know, um, obviously, 
it would have gone up a lot. And it only, it's only gone up a little bit, that's because that I've lost a few years of a no claims bonus. And a few people said, how come you've only lost a few, you know, when you've had an accident or something, if it's your fault, you lose them all. Well, I haven't lost them all. And that could be God as well, because so, I prayed. I don't know how many people I've been watching my videos for, but I did a video about a year ago, nearly a year ago, should I say, about that accident, and I prayed through this camcorder, uploaded it onto YouTube on my channel, and I believe that God has our designed on the situation. Uh, can ask God for anything, and God will do things. But what I'm not seeing in the world right now, I'm not seeing miracles. I'm not seeing stuff on the news about Christianity and what God is doing. In the Bible, Jesus says you will do greater miracles than me. Well, there is miracles, don't get me wrong, but why don't we see, for instance, boxers coming from um, dodgy backgrounds like former heroin addicts and stuff like that and boxers, or not just a boxer but athletes and or something that they've changed their lives around but also They've asked God, they've asked Jesus into their lives and stuff like that. Why aren't we seeing these sort of things? Yes, these are these are a few boxers that are Christians. I'm not basically talking about boxers in general. I'm talking about everything. What about musicians and that and stuff? Oh, I really thank Jesus for what he's done in my life. Yes, in the church that happens, in the church. But it's about time that these sort of people need to go out in the open, in the streets with a microphone, with speakers, and to tell the atheist people, people that don't believe in God, people that don't even know anything, what God does in people's lives. That's what people should be doing. And yes, there is people that do that kind of stuff. People are called to do that kind of stuff. But it doesn't happen that much. Many people, you know, are turning agnostic. You know, they don't believe in God anymore. Or they think church is a load of rubbish and stuff like that. I'm just going to have a drink of my tea. I'm getting a bit thirsty. So why don't we see people when they win awards and that? Oh, I want to thank God for what he's doing in my life. I can give a little story and stuff. Because I believe there's going to be some great times coming. Mark my words. Those things what I've just said are coming. They are coming. Jesus mighty name. I pray for this tornado Lord God.